name is Marcia Whalen from Whole Foods Market, St. Louis, and the weavers of Niarga say, It's exciting to work for a company that um, has allowed me to have this opportunity to travel to Ghana, Africa, to visit our weavers firsthand and to see the great work that we are doing in their village. I've shaken hands with, with the weavers that we are purchasing our baskets from. We have a lot to be proud about, a lot to be proud about, and the fact that um, the villagers know Whole Foods Market and they're so grateful and so appreciative. Thank you, Whole Foods Market. <laughs> Thank you, the whole food market. Thank you. Thank you, whole food market. Thank you. Thank you. I felt a, a connection with the girls. That, to me, was the true success story. <laughs> to see them and their beauty, and their joy, and their strength. I have never seen such strength in junior high girls. I was blown away. <laughs> Our company has made tremendous changes in their lives. Tremendous changes from homelessness to prosperity. And that whole pathway in between. We've been there that whole way. Oh my God, Blessing Basket has changed my life. You see, now I have gods. Look at my house. Look at me. Look at my children. You see. <laughs> It's true, Blessing Basket, they are paying us more, more money. 240, 250, 260, 270,000 shillings! <laughs> Thank you, Blessing Basket. Oh, you are so welcome. <laughs> to see Teresa working with the weavers, to see how much she respects them, and to see how much they respect her, she always repeats what is in the best interest of the weavers. And I saw and believe that, that the relationship she has established with them is in their best interest. Big Joe represents what the Blessing Basket Project is trying to achieve in the villages that it serves. He was found hungry, homeless, about 350 miles from home, but he could weave. So five years ago, we returned him to his village of Niarga, and he began weaving. His father is dead, and he is the sole income provider for his family. He is also supporting his younger brothers and sisters in school while taking care of his mother. If we had just been paying Big Joe just above local market rate, which would be considered fair trade, he wouldn't have been able to accumulate the capital to buy 12 cows. He made it a point to come and say to me, that he wanted Whole Foods Market to know how appreciative he was. And he wanted Whole Foods Market to know that we should not give up, that the work that we do is imperative for um, the success of all the weavers. How many of your parents weave for Blessing Basket? That's pretty cool. We are talking about some serious prosperity. Immaculate knows how to develop her life. She has bought four pigs, and those produced three more pigs. She also bought two goats, and those produced two more goats. So we're looking at a mother who knows exactly what to do with her prosperity wages. This partnership between the Weavers and Whole Foods Market and the Blessing Basket Project is truly working. I've said this many times over the years, but I got to feel it that the power of one person, it's true. To experience it, 
is something that I, I thought I was prepared for, <laughs> but it totally uh, took my breath away. We are making a difference. Even if we make a difference in the lives of one person, and we've made a difference in the lives of many, many people, and we'll continue to do so um, just by continuing to sell the baskets. I do love Whole Foods. And then when I see that they are um, helping this project, it makes me feel like I'd like to shop in the store more. I am proud to work for a company that has such, has the ability to have such vision and to see the importance of the work that we are doing. Whole Foods Market and the Blessing Basket Project is doing great, great work. Whole Foods Market's footprint is very evident in the Yardagana. You've built a school there. You've built a well there. You've built a weaving center there. You've built a mother's craft center there. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. The people of Niarga were in poverty. The people of Niarga are no longer in poverty. That they're weaving themselves out of poverty and into prosperity.